Hey guys, welcome back to a new video, or hey, if you're new here, today's video is an extreme clean with me because I'm sick, actually, I'm still sick, and I was not going to film today, but I did anyways, and I felt like I had to because I needed to really like open the windows, let the air come in, and just get the sickness out. I was like pretty much bleaching everything in the main living space. Um, I was doing a lot of laundry. I actually still have laundry in the dryer right now. As I'm doing this voiceover, I washed both my son's sheets and whatever clothes they had in their hamper. And I just, I cannot take it anymore. I don't feel good. I still don't feel good. But it's just like, I'm telling you all week long, I don't even know. I cannot count how many naps I have taken. And I know I've taken, like, every time my daughter was down for a nap, I was sleeping. <laughs> and I just don't feel good. Earl doesn't feel good. My sons feel fine. And Jalen had just caught over, like, a fever. I think my last video, she was actually, after that video she got a little bit better, so she's been fine, but I don't want to chance everybody else getting sick, and I don't want to stay sick, so I'm trying to, like, really just focus on anything that needs to be done, so I'm starting to do a little load of laundry right now. This is just my husband and, well, mainly his clothes and Jalen's clothes, and then, um, I don't think I show you guys, like, that I took the sheets off my kid's bed, but it's fine. I, all I know is I did it. <laughs> That's all that matters. But I hope all of you guys are doing good. And I hope you are not sick because this is not fun. I've probably been sick for over a week now. I don't even know if I said that already or not. My mind is just all over the place. It's hard for me to focus. I can hardly taste any food lately, so that's not fun. <laughs> I made a bagel the other day, and it was like one of those bagels that has the cheese on it that's melted and stuff. It was actually um, like a pizza flavored bagel, but it had like the melted cheese on it, and I toasted it, and normally I make like a sandwich with bagels, but all I put on it was um, cream cheese, so I'm showing you guys real quick. I'm interrupting myself. We have these new little magnet things um, for child safety locks or whatever for our drawers because my daughter, well, she's not the one that breaks them. We pull them open too hard and they just keep busting. Like you could tell the one on the right, the one that I'm taking off, the little head part, the hook part is broke off. And that's like the second or third one that that happened to. So my husband ended up getting some of these. It's a pack that's on Amazon for like 30 bucks, which is pretty, that's a pretty penny, but they do work really well. So we needed something that would, you know, that would work and not be able to go out far enough to get her little hands in there because that's what she'll do. She'll pull them out just far enough and reach her hand in there and still get to stuff. But anyways, uh, right now I am making coffee. I'm like, I cannot go on. I took so many breaks during making this video. And the funny thing is this is actually probably one of my shortest videos I've ever made. But the footage was like an hour and 20 minutes. And I'm like, I don't want to prolong this because for one, it's not a vlog. It's like, why slow down the speed? It, it's just going to be boring. <laughs> So I was like, I'll just talk a lot through it and just kind of hang out with you guys. Um, anyways, as I'm making coffee, I noticed the top where we put the spoon is like super dirty and it's like caked on there. So I was cleaning that, which led to cleaning the trash can and then cleaning the walls next to the trash can. And at this point, I already knew that I wanted to wipe like a lot of stuff down, whether it's walls and everything else. But it's just like, I just, I don't know what it is, but when I'm sick, I feel like the whole house is like gross. 
you know, like the sickness is everywhere. <laughs> so I just kind of went crazy this day. It is sped up. So it looks like I'm doing like everything way faster than I actually was. I was taking my time though. Um, but it's just like, oh, those dishes in the sink also, I did, or did I do those? No, I don't want to take credit. My husband actually did those. Either that or I threw them in the dishwasher. And then he, he did the dishes for me before it looked like that. Like there was way more dishes, not today, but yesterday. He did the dishes for me and it was just like, oh, it was so nice. <laughs> because I I'm just not feeling good, you guys. I am feeling a little better. I If I have to say I am, I guess I am. But I don't really feel good, if that makes sense. So anyways, right here, I'm just cleaning out the little um, espresso machine tray thing. It gets really gunked up with the, you know, coffee in the grounds and stuff. But anyways, what was I saying? Oh, the pizza bagel. I put cream cheese on it and I'm sitting there eating it and I'm picking at it going like, what in the world? I told my husband, like, I'm miserable right now. Like, I can't taste a bagel. Like, <laughs> I said, what's the point of even eating? I mean, I wasn't really, it wasn't even that I was hungry. Like, I just wanted the bagel thinking it's going to be so good. And I didn't taste anything, but it's totally been a bummer. But anyways, today um, we are making, or my husband is smoking some chicken, the chicken thighs. So that's what we're having. And today is actually Sunday. So this is like a Sunday reset, but it's more like an extreme clean with me because I am wiping every single thing down that I can think of, like that what my daughter would touch or, um, you know, the island or in the table, like I go around the table legs and I didn't wipe down all the chair legs though. I totally forgot about it. But I was just like going crazy with the bleach. And honestly, I don't like bleach. Um, I do like that it smells clean, but the smell itself I don't like at all. Um, so for me to use bleach, I mean, it's like, okay, I, I mean business. <laughs> My daughter keeps following me around. And then my husband kept coming out and grabbing her and stuff. But I just, I didn't want her around me when I'm spraying all the bleach. But anyways, so it might have been like my last video or one of the last two videos I did. And I was saying that my husband found a new show for us to watch. And it's called So Help Me Todd. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is such a good show. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this voiceover right here because my... Husband just showed up and it's about to get noisy. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can't do better, so much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better
Okay, so right now on the TV, my husband put on Maddie Matheson. Um, he is just so funny. He's on YouTube, so you can look him up. But he cracks me up. He, I don't know, <laughs> he reminds me of Jonah Hill, but like way more hyper. <laughs> but um, back to that show, um, So Help Me Todd. It is really good. Todd is someone who's trying to get back on his feet. It's about mainly about him. He's a PI and it's about his mom who is a lawyer. And it's just, it's a really good show. I don't want to like give too much away, but it's, you know, they're, it's all about like crimes and them solving crimes and stuff. So it's a crime show, but it's like, he's so funny. He kind of reminds me of Dane Cook and mixed with Ryan Reynolds a little bit, <laughs> but it's a good show if you guys want to look it up. They only have two seasons. We just finished the first one like last night. So um, my husband and I have been really sick. So we have been binge watching a lot of that show. But anyways, right now I'm just wiping everything. Right now I'm not using the bleach. I'm just cleaning this stuff because like we get coffee stains and stuff in the little cutouts. And then going down the hall, I was like, well, I might as well clean the light fixtures too. <laughs> I just felt like I need to wipe doorknobs and everything. I didn't go in the inside part of my doorknob because, um, or my door, all the way in the bottom, or the far down on the right, because my daughter was taking a nap at this point. So, after you don't see her anymore, basically she's taking a nap. I forgot to mention that, but... And I wiped that cleaner that I'm using now is like Mrs. Meyer's cleaner. I don't know. I'm using the bleach right now. I keep switching back and forth. But um, eventually, you guys don't see it in this video, but I did take glass cleaner and I cleaned the mirrors that you see on the right that you could see like the cart. Um, my daughter's little shopping cart. I cleaned that and I did go over the mirror that I just smudged all over <laughs> with bleach. And I only put the bleach on that mirror down at the end because my daughter touches all over it. Um, she can't get into it, but yeah, she she just touches everything. So I tried to think of like, okay, if I'm a little person, <laughs> like if I don't know what she already touches, I tried to think of like, what would she be touching, you know? And I just tried to wipe all that stuff with bleach. And then before I even got into filming, I took like a spray disinfectant that I got from Dollar Tree, which I don't really love because it's really, really strong. But I had sprayed that all around the living room when she was still taking her first nap. Or I think before they even got up. I don't know. But I feel like I took so many breaks while doing this. Oh, I decided <laughs> I don't want those flowers. Those were the real ones, but they were dead. They're dried flowers, so I was like, I'll bring my little fake ones out, which I actually switched. You guys don't know that, but I after this video, um, I put like a little candle holder thing. It has like a bear and like trees cut out in it. Um, I've seen it in my garage. I'm like, oh, I want to bring that in. So, but anyways, this is like the shortest video ever. I didn't want to like slow down the footage because like I said earlier, it's not like a vlog or anything. And I just felt like it's going to be too boring. So I didn't want a long, slowed down video of only cleaning. <laughs> because I was like, I'm going to have to play way more music or do way more voiceovers. And I won't know what to talk about. But I think I'm going to try to do this. Like if I'm not feeling good, I will just set up the camera and whatever I clean, I will just film and it's going to be not my typical style because I love the vlog style cleaning. But if this is what's going to have to happen, like for me to put content out, I'm going to do it. So um, I don't know when I'm going to post again, but like I said, I do feel a little better, but I am still sick. I feel like my throat doesn't hurt, but I feel like I'm stuffed up, I guess. I don't know. And then my head has been hurting on and off and my body aches. And, and as I'm cleaning right now, too, I totally took a like roller 
of icy hot and I didn't feel it right away. And normally I'm used to being able to feel it, but it was the roller kind. So I guess like you can't feel it right away. So I kept rolling and kept rolling. And then <laughs> at this moment, as I'm cleaning, I'm like, I'm on fire. <laughs> I felt like I was burning. Um, but I mean, I, hey, I, I, in a good way, <laughs> like I wasn't in pain anymore. So that was okay. Um, and I actually, right now I could still feel it. And it's like hours later. It doesn't hurt though. I just feel like better. I don't know. But anyways, oh, I wanted to mention too, like sometimes in my videos, you guys will see like the dog dishes on the table. And obviously it's so my daughter does not get into the water because what she likes to do is take the food. Either she'll play in the water, she'll try to play in there. And then um, she will take the dog food and put it into the water dish. And just like, I don't know. So I have caught on to that. It's like, when she is in her chair, I'll take them down or I'll just keep a close eye on her so she doesn't mess with it. But some days she'll get in this mood where like she just keeps going and going and going like back to whatever you say to leave alone. <laughs> but I think this is like the last thing that I that I clean was the fish tank and it was disgusting up on top. I didn't clean it really good, but I tried to clean it as best as I could. Oh, yeah. And then at this point, I was like, I want to move that plant. I thought I would like the plant in the dining room. So that's what I'm doing. I'm like getting all this stuff out of the way so I can take the plant, which I ended up like restringing because it needs, um, it had like two flimsy sticks, but I found a like actual like piece of wood because it's a lot sturdier. And I switched it up. And at this point, I already like did all this that stuff off camera. I added more soil in there and then I put it there and I didn't show that I changed it up, but you do see in the end of the video like clips of where I did put the plant, which is behind the couch um, where it came from a long time ago. And the whole reason I took it out of there is because it was too tall, but the way I kind of like wrapped the plant around the piece of wood, so like it was a lot shorter so I could actually put it there. But anyways, <laughs> I don't really know what else to talk about. I feel bad because it's such a short video. But anyways, I think I'm showing you guys the after right now. And I swear, so I used my Bissell Crosswave because I was not feeling like vacuuming the whole house, then going around and mopping it. So I did both at the same time. But apparently my phone did not record that. Um, so I don't know if you can tell or not. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I actually saved and edited this video. And then I looked in my gallery because I was like, I swear I pushed record and I found it. So this actually happened after I cleaned the fish tank. But I decided to put it at the end so I didn't have to like redo the voiceovers because it's already late enough. And I want to get this video up for you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I see. I told you. I knew I recorded it, but I wasn't quite sure. And really what happened is you can only put so many clips in your editor at a time. And so I try to remember the number mark, like how long the clip is. And this one was a 14 minute clip, just like the one right next to it or right ahead of it. So I skipped over it thinking I already added it and I didn't see in the picture that I was doing this. So it, that's what happened. I was thinking like, what in the world is going on? Am I losing my mind? <laughs> but this video is kind of backwards, but it's okay. So I told you I did the floor. So I just really quickly wanted to use the Bissell Crosswave. This is perfect if you don't have all the time in the world or if you're not feeling good, but you still want your floors clean. You can vacuum and mop at the same time. That sounds really weird, but granted our floors were not actually super dirty as in like dirt and dust and everywhere because we've been keeping up on that at least because my son does them. But um. So what you do is you turn this on and it's vacuuming. You can either push it on for carpet or a hard floor. So I have it vacuuming for hard floor. And then after I vacuum, I can push the button to like wet the little 
um, brush thing that goes around and it comes with like different attachments and stuff. So there's an option for you guys if you want like a wet vac, that's what they call it. Um, the Bissell Crosswave is a good one. We got this on OfferUp for a good deal, but that was like, I think before I even started my YouTube, I'm not sure. Um, but I don't use it that much. I just, I like using the, what do you call it? The spin mop, um, the O cedar mop, but this was actually kind of nice today. I might use this more often. And I only had to plug it into the one place in the hall and I reached every single place that I needed to go, which is very strange because I don't remember being able to do that with the vacuum. But yeah, so I mopped and vacuumed with only plugging it in once. That's the only thing I was worried about. I was like, I'm going to have to keep unplugging it because I thought the cord was a lot shorter, but it worked out. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And if you did or if you are, don't forget to leave a heart emoji down in the comments below. It can be any color. And hopefully I will be putting out more content and hopefully I'll feel a little bit more, you know, a little better after doing all of this. Hopefully I will slowly feel better, but I will see you guys in my next one and thank you for watching. Bye.